Hello, this video is breaking news about the latest announcement from the Bank of England about the base rate. So the Bank of England monetary policy met today and decided to leave bank rates unchanged. Now this is a bit of a shock because most people believe that rates are gonna come down again. Last time they decided to bring it down by 0.25% down to 5%, but they've decided to leave rates unchanged. Now let's talk about why this has happened and the implications for you and your property investing. So my name's Simon Zucci. I've been investing in property since 1995 and teaching people like you how to become more successful investors since 2003. And in most of my time as an investor, I've had an interest rate of about five or six percent. That was up until the credit crunch in 2008 and 2007, when rates obviously came down and we had the record low interest rate for almost a decade of half a percent. Then in February 22, interest rates started to go up. That came as a real shock to many landlords who'd got used to having very low interest rates and also many homeowners who'd got used to the home mortgage costing a very small amount because of the low interest rates. Now obviously the rates going up has caused a massive problem for homeowners and also property investors. So the news the last time that the Bank of England had decided to reduce their base rate from 5.25% down to 5% was very welcome news. And I think most people expected that rates were gonna come down several times in 2024. So today's announcement might not be a surprise to many people, but what is it that influences the Bank of England in their decision whether they're gonna bring interest rates down or indeed put them up? The Bank of England used interest rates as a macroeconomic tool to try and control inflation. When inflation goes up, they raise interest rates to make borrowing more expensive and slow the economy down. And when interest rates come down, they can lower the Bank of England base rate to stimulate the economy and start the economy going again. Now, obviously, the government had a target of lowering inflation, which was very high a year ago. It was double digits. They successfully did that. And now, uh, last month, when we heard that the inflation rate was very close to the 2% target that the Bank of England wanted to achieve, they bought base rates down. Now, inflation has actually gone up a little bit. But here's the thing. I I'd love your comments in the video below. By the way, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified anytime timely videos like this come out. I'd like to know, what do you think the true rate of inflation is? It's supposed to be a few percent, but actually I'm not sure if that's correct. It seems to me that prices in shops are still really high. Most businesses and services seem to be putting their prices up. Salaries are going up. We heard that record announcement that young doctors were going to be getting 22% pay rise over a period of time, and maybe they deserve that. Who knows? I'm not going to get into that debate. But that kind of pay rise, if that's what the government are setting as a precedent, I think lots of unions are gonna be fighting for their staff to get really big pay rises to catch up for the high inflation we've had over the last couple of years. So if lots of people are being paid more, that is gonna make inflation go up. So actually, although we've seen the recent announcement about interest rates, maybe, we might see inflation going up more, and we might see interest rates going up more. So what does this actually mean for you and your property investing? Well, obviously, if we're taking out buy-to-let mortgages, it means that we are having more expensive borrowing. And so what I've seen a lot of investors do, when the last announcement came through and people expecting rates to come down further, they've often remortgaged uh, properties to secure a, a lower rate that's acceptable, that works for them and gives them cash flow, just to lock in for the next three to five years to remove some of the fluctuation. Because I think one of the biggest challenges for us as property investors is when rates go up and down and that has an impact on our cash flow. And we can't predict, we don't know what that's going to be. So setting and fixing your period for three to five years, as long as you're happy with that rate, might be a smart thing to do. Now obviously I'm not giving you any financial advice here, I'm just giving you an education to think about what you might want to do. 
Where do I think rates are gonna come long term? Well, I think rates are probably gonna come down further. I'm living in an option property at the moment. I've got the right to buy in about a year and a half. And I genuinely believe that interest rates will be lower in a year and a half than they are right now, which is why I wanted to get a mortgage in 18 months time. And actually the owner of that property, uh, they're very happy selling to me in 18 months because they were locked into a penalty on their mortgage. So if they paid back their mortgage, they'd have to pay a redemption charge, they'd rather not do that. And they didn't need the money from the sale anyway. So in that case, a purchase this option was a great solution for them and also for me. But what does it mean for your investing? Well, I think that obviously, although interest rates is a very, very important factor we need to consider, I believe that actually, as long as we find a great deal that makes us money today and we're holding for the long term, I think really, should we be worried about short term fluctuations in interest rates? Because if we're playing the long game here and we're expecting property prices to increase over the long term, which generally in the UK they do, because we live on an island with a limited amount of accommodation and an increasing population. So there is not enough accommodation. What that means is long-term property prices go up and also rental value go up. Now, obviously the Labour government as part of their manifesto committed to build 300,000 new homes every year. Of course, the government doesn't build those. They create the environment to stimulate developers to build and supply those properties. But still, 300,000 is a lot of properties. In fact, Rachel Rees was saying a while ago she wanted 370,000 a year. Now, the reality is we as a country are nowhere near building that many homes. But even if things change and the planning gets better and we have more skilled labor so we can build that many properties, that's not gonna be for a few years. But even with all that new property coming to the market, with a growing and increasing population, there's still gonna be, I believe, a good long-term trend of property prices going up. So with that in mind, rather than trying to guess the best time to invest or wait till interest rates are just right, because no one really knows exactly what's gonna happen, I suggest you find a really good property deal as long as it makes money now based on the rate you can secure the mortgage at right now, I would suggest you buy that property because plan for the long term, that's where you make true generational wealth if you hold on to property and pass it down your bloodline. So this time right now is a perfect time for you to get out there and find really good deals because there is this uncertainty about interest rates, because there's uncertainty about what the Labour government may or may not do, that's why I think you should be taking action now, finding some fantastic deals and securing those deals while we're in this buyer's market. Because right now, there is not that much competition because many investors are sitting back waiting to see what happens about the Labour government, about interest rates. So now is the opportunity. It's a case of observing the masses and doing the opposite. Most people are sitting back waiting. My message to you is, as long as you know what you're doing, you should get out there and find some fantastic property deals. But I'd love to know your view. So please come and comment below in this video. Um, like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime timely videos like this come out. As ever, I encourage you to invest with knowledge, invest with skill. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.